Pennsylvania. How many of you have seen CSO before? Awesome, awesome. Welcome back. How many of you here? It looks very hard. How many of you have never seen us here forever? Why not? Why not? <laughs> well, it's pretty funny when we come to this now because we even still, 20 years later, we'll have a discussion on exactly how to pronounce where we are. And, uh, I always like to try to think I can do the right thing in our state, but I still get people that tell me it's different than what I think. So, once again, Seth's room, I got into town, I went to this really nice restaurant for lunch, and I walked in there, and I wanted to make sure I had it right. And a waiter came up to me and says, can I help you? I said, hey, actually you can. I said, uh, can you tell me exactly where we are? And say it slowly. And he looks at me and he goes, Burger King. <laughs> no, but seriously, since some of y'all have never seen this before, we may not know this. First of all, the very first show we ever did was in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. But actually, the very first show CSO East ever did was the Wilkesburg down at the Kirby Center. But something we've done since the very first show is one dollar for each ticket sold has gone to a different local charity. That is something called the Very first show we have done ever since, and at the end of the last year's tour, we actually passed the twenty million dollar mark by that one dollar. Now we have a little bit extra going on here today because besides the one dollar for each ticket sold that's been given to our charity, we have Performance Key is actually given an extra check. So I'm going to turn the microphone over to Fish Boy from KRZ, one of our favorite stations in the country, and he's going to help tell you guys how to give it back by coming to CTSO. Hey guys, thank you so much. Every year we love teaming up with these guys because. You know, look at the reaction, look at the response, and we, we really love to wrap ourselves around a great charity. We have found one this year, a nonprofit, to sleep in heavenly peace. Thanks. Now, to explain all about that is our good friend, Dee. Dee, tell us more about it. Thank you, Fish Boy, and thank you, everybody, uh, for coming out today. So, my name is Dio Burgess, and my nonprofit is called Sleep in Heavenly Peace. And what do we do? We build beds for children of the ages of 3 to 17 in Luzerne County that sleep on the floor. And I know you think that's not a thing, but let me tell you, after delivering almost a thousand beds with a backlog of over 600 that we still have to deliver, it is a thing. It's called bedlessness, and we're here to make a difference so no kid sleeps on the floor in our town.